Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, could you please subscribe? You can do that by this little red square here, which you'll see if you're in full screen mode. There is a button underneath this video and also a link in the description as well. And if you can uh, give us a like as well, that'd be cool. It all helps boost us up the rankings. Well, I was uh, sitting down watching this morning last night. It's funny, had not it? This morning last night with my wife. And they were talking about uh, the safety of women uh, out and about, you know, pubs, clubs, parties, walking down the street, that kind of thing. And there's one thing that seems to be very prevalent, and I'm starting to find it a bit aggravating, and that is all men are evil. We are the devil. We are going to do something nasty at any time. It's in all of us. Watch out, women everywhere. We're coming to get you. Well, I'm sorry, I can't really see how the actions of one or two crazies can dictate the characters and actions of every man in the country. And let's face it, after all, it's not every single man everywhere. It is a select few. I want to show you something I found this morning. Check this out. Okay, in the uh, paper yesterday, the Kent Live, there was a report of an attempted murder in Tunbridge Wells. And I'm gonna show you the newspaper article. So check this. Tunbridge Wells, woman in her thirties, charged with attempted murder in a town center. She appeared before Medway Magistrates Court on Monday and was remanded in custody. A woman has been charged with attempted murder following reports of a serious assault in Tunbridge. The woman in her 30s appeared before magistrates court yesterday and remanded in custody. Police say they were called to an address in Dudley Road following reports that a man had been stabbed on Friday, March the 12th. Thankfully, the, the gentleman involved, uh, his injuries are no longer life-threatening, according to this, and the article goes on and on and on and on and on. The point I'm trying to make here, yes, the streets aren't safe for women. Yes, something has to be done about it. Women have got to be more aware of their own personal safety and take actions to keep themselves safe while this problem is sorted out. Me personally, I don't think it'll ever be sorted out, but you look at it, it's women as well. There, There is a systemic problem in this country with, with violence. You hear members of both sexes, men and women, who take it on, on themselves to commit violent acts. It's countrywide, it's, it's a massive problem I blame the criminal justice system. You know, you attack somebody, the punishment doesn't fit the crime, particularly with attempted murder. Also, you've got to ask yourself the circumstances. You know, this argument, this thing here, was it a jealous ex? Was it an unprovoked attack? Was it alcohol related? There's all sorts of things. I mean, as far as the safety of women goes, I, I put a video up a little while ago about what I think you should do to keep safe in the streets. And if you watch this video till the end, I'll put the link on so you can have a look at it. But there is a definite cultural violence problem in this country that needs sorting out. Yes, with the tragic death of Sarah Everard the other day, uh, it's really highlighted the safety aspect. But what they're talking about doing as well is putting plain clothes officers into places like pubs and nightclubs to earwig on what everybody's saying. And that opens up a whole other avenue. You know, if I go and leave a club with a woman and then I'm accused of doing something, or if I'm a Fruit Loop and actually do do something, that's fair enough. But then when you go into a club, you get hot, blooded rampant young males and females wanting to shag each other to be blunt and you get all sorts of sexual innuendo and comments and things like that in nightclubs is that all of a sudden a crime uh, to flirt with a member of the opposite sex of people are gonna it's just gonna get blown out of all proportion the the simple fact is there aren't any police on the streets 
like they used to be years ago. This problem has been allowed to grow out of control and people are not taking basic steps to keep themselves safe. You need to be aware all the time of what's going on around you. I really don't think coppers in nightclubs in plain clothes being nosy is the answer. What do you think? Let me know. I'll be interested in starting a debate on this, causing a debate. If you think I'm wrong, let me know. Uh, I'll be interested to hear from you. Leave it in the comments. And as I said, give me a subscription and uh, hit the like button. And uh, we'll see where this goes over the next few days. But personally, I think the world's gone mad.